look so brave and cool. What did they do? They were professional fighters who specialized in weapons and armor. They fought in front of the public and organized games held in the Colosseum. So what is the Colosseum? Wow, it's so huge! It looks like an Olympic stadium! The Colosseum could seat 50,000 spectators. That is amazing! I can't believe they could build this gigantic building 2,000 years ago. Romans were great builders and engineers. Hey, looks like they use arches. Arches cross wider gaps and support more weight than just straight beams of wood or stone. Arches allowed Roman buildings to get bigger and stronger. They even adopted some Greek architecture. See the Greek style columns and arches in the Colosseum? This building also used arches. This is the aqueduct. What do you think it was used for? It was a kind of water channel. Using the strength of arches, they channel mountain water slowly downhill using just gravity. This brought fresh water into the city. Isn't that incredible? They were also great civil engineers too. Ancient Roman time was a period in history from 600 BC to 400 AD. The Roman Empire lasted about 1,000 years. The Romans conquered many lands by war. The empire included half of Europe, most of the Middle East, and the northern coast of Africa. As the empire grew and became more organized, the Romans started arranging their towns. The main roads were paved. They had sewer systems and could get water to their homes by water pipes. There were even public bathtubs. Ancient Rome must have been really brilliant and practical. Who is this? This is the first Roman emperor, Augustus. He won many military victories and allowed Roman literature, art, architecture, and religion to thrive and prosper. He knew that art was important to the success of his empire. So sculptures were everywhere, in the streets, temples, and parks. Having a huge statue of the emperor placed around the city was a good way to remind everyone who was in command. Romans admired Greek-style art and brought Greek artists to Rome and even copied their style. But they preferred lifelike details that showed their imperfection. For example, look at this statue of a Roman emperor. Can you see? This statue isn't idealistic at all, even though he was the emperor of Rome. Was it because of his confidence? After many victories and war, Romans gained wealth and power. The rich and powerful nobles began to build large villas. And they loved nothing more than a grand banquet with friends. These parties were chances to show off and secure their social status. Their beautiful villas were decorated with fresco paintings and mosaics. Fresco is the pigment that was applied to damp plaster wall. This made the colors brighter and helped the paintings to last. All kinds of scenes were painted, such as gods and heroes, daily life and animals. Portraits of the homeowners were popular too. There were four different styles. First style is imitating Greek style of painting. Second style is known as the architectural style. It was designed to look like windows with views out to beautiful scenery. Third style is known as the ornamental style. It was less realistic, more fantastic. The fourth style is a mixture of the second and third styles. The earliest mosaics were black and white, but later they used a lot of colors. A mosaic is a picture or pattern made from small pieces of colored glass or stone. They were made on the walls and floors by craftsmen. This mosaic, messy floor, 
reveals the Romans' luxury and extravagant lifestyle. When they ate, they thought it was good to not finish and throw away their leftover onto the floor like this mosaic. Later, during the Byzantine Empire, mosaics were popular. During Roman times, Roman citizens had freedom of religion. They believed in a lot of gods and goddesses. This building is the Pantheon. Pan means all. Theon means God. It is a place of worship for all gods. But Christianity began to stand out as a problem. Christians believed there was only one God. Some Romans believed that this one God was more important than the emperor. So the Roman government made it a crime to be Christian and began to persecute them. Yet Christianity continued to spread. Finally, the Emperor Constantine became the first Christian emperor. In 313 AD, Emperor Constantine instituted the Edict of Milan, which accepted Christianity. What happened to the Great Roman Empire? The Roman Empire split into two halves. Western Roman Empire was still ruled from Rome, but Eastern Roman Empire was ruled by Emperor Constantine from its new capital, the city of Byzantium. Western Roman Empire collapsed in 476 AD under the barbarian invasion. Eastern Roman Empire survived as a Byzantine Empire. This period, art is called Byzantium art. What would the world look like today if the Roman Empire had continued to grow as one, eventually conquering all lands? Would all roads lead to Rome? Hmm, the ancient Roman Empire was pretty great. What do you think of Roman art?
if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.